Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. And we certainly had a taste of that Arctic air, didn't we? Yeah, we're starting to see that uh, really bitterly cold now moving out of here. In fact, we're above freezing in many spots, including Harrisburg, where we take a live look right now. Still pretty cloudy, though, and we are tracking some rain. And it's, by the way, it's a system bringing the rain that's also drawing in some milder air to scour out that bitterly cold uh, weather we had the last couple of days. 39 degrees currently in Harrisburg. It uh, feels about that in, uh, when you look at the wind chills. Winds are calm at this time, but still plenty of clouds around. And as we look to the radar, we do have some pockets of freezing rain to talk about as well, particularly in our northwestern counties uh, around the Lewistown area, even around Sealands Grove too. But notice how this changeover line between freezing rain and the pink to just plain rain farther south is starting to inch its way to the north. And that's because we are drawing in some of that warmer air from south to north across the region. Still though, hovering below freezing in Lewistown at 30. Sealands Grove, uh, you're out of the woods in terms of the freezing rain at, at 33 degrees. And everywhere points south from there, pretty much not even really concerned at all with freezing rain possibilities here throughout the rest of today because look at the temps way above the freezing mark and we'll continue to see that climbing it looks like in many spots even as we go into tonight but still the winter weather advisory in effect until two o'clock so not, not not too much longer but in those areas especially around the Lewistown into parts of Snyder County possibly be seeing some icy spots over the next couple of hours before we do see those temperatures warming up. So again, patchy freezing rain here uh, in our northern counties, but it looks like we'll just go to a few afternoon showers, plain rain showers as we head through the day. It doesn't look like a complete washout, especially the farther south you go. It's going to take a little while for that rain to work in for you, uh, but milder temps uh, as we head through the day, milder certainly than where we've been the last couple of days and even milder yet tonight. In fact, could see the temps rising up into the mid to upper 40s and maybe even some spots near 50 degrees late tonight, but it does does look like we'll start to see rain moving in and it could be heavy at times, especially late tonight and into tomorrow morning with those rising temperatures. Now through the morning hours tomorrow, I do think we will have a little narrow band of some heavy rainfall and that narrow band could also potentially produce some gusty wind. So watching out for that and the timing of which could be around that morning commute. So just be uh, on the alert for that. It does look like though the rain completely wraps up as we head into the early to mid afternoon, and then it turns breezy and temperatures begin to fall once again. So here's the reason for the warm up. We've got a system out to our west and that's drawing in all of that warmth from south to north across the region, but it's running into that colder air and the moisture is too and that's why we've got these pockets of freezing rain to talk about in those northern counties uh, around the Lewistown area. And again, this is going to be a somewhat limited threat over the next couple of hours. You can see later this evening uh, pretty much over to just all rain and even then it's just a couple of hit or miss showers here and there. But then we turn the uh, that rain a little on the steadier side as we head into tomorrow morning and here comes that little narrow band of rain that I was talking about. Even if it's about 10 to 20 miles wide, and these can potentially produce some uh, gusty winds down to the surface. Predictor is indicating that you see some really heavy rain, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Can't rule that out as we head into tomorrow morning and then into the afternoon. The whole system pulls away and we start to see some drying conditions later tomorrow evening. In terms of total rainfall, potentially about a half inch to maybe upwards of an inch by the time all is said and done with this thing. So it looks like another soaking rain on the way for us here as we head into later this evening, tonight, and especially tomorrow morning. But we'll dry things out and by Friday, blustery with more flurries. We're back down into the 20s for highs on Saturday. Watch for the chance of some light snow on Sunday and even the chance of some more rain or snow again on Tuesday. But at this point in time, none of those systems right now look like they're going to be a big deal, just kind of minor systems, but reinforcing shots of colder air once again. So today probably going to be one of the warmer days tomorrow as well, and it will cool back down. It looks like into the 20s again. Still pretty active, right? It's still little systems, though. Not a big one, at least on the guidance as All of right. now. So.